everyone welcome back to my channel i'm the city witch so i have a brand new deck to review for you guys i got this deck in the november 2022 witch's moon box and it is a norse themed deck it is 81 cards so quite a big deck and the artwork is all in black and white it's really quite unique i've not seen anything done like this before and i have just took the cellophane off it i have not looked at any of the cards properly yet so this is the first time we will go through this deck together guys so this is the matching guidebook for those who do like the look of this deck so it's called bifrost i am not gonna try and pronounce that name because i will probably get it horribly horribly wrong and butcher it so that is the name of the author this is a llewellyn print and the guidebook is quite lovely, guys. Um, really quite big. It's obviously been dedicated to the Witch's Moon there, as I say. The book has some interesting things to say about the deck. And I'm just going to cover a couple of points before I show you the cards. So first of all here, it tells you that the deck is split up. So chapter, chapter one, it talks about the world of the gods. The world of the giants is chapter two. Chapter three, they focus on the elves. Chapter four is the world of ice. Chapter five is the world of humans. Chapter six is the world of dwarves. Chapter seven, the world of the dark elves. Chapter eight, the world of fire. And then chapter nine is the world of the dead. That looks like some kind of a poem that it gives you there. And then it goes into an introduction about the cards. Now it tells you that the cards are split up. It does give you some pronunciations there. I have not read this properly, so therefore I will probably butcher pronunciation. So I'm just going to read what the meaning of the card is to you rather than say the name. So I don't, you know, look a bit silly. <laughs> um, it talks about the significance of the animal symbolism on the cards and then the importance of circles. It goes into history of creation in Nordic paganism and the creation, um, creation and creative sprouts. Then it talks about the elements as well. So there's a lot in regards to these cards. And then the importance of the nine goes into the cardinal directions as well and shows you some information about the sacred tree. Placement. And then it talks to you about these symbols. So on the cards, you will see these different symbols. This tells you what realm the card is referring to. And then obviously the realms have an impact upon your reading as well. Then it goes into the cards. So with the cards, so the very first card is Odin. So it gives you the pronunciation and the spelling of it and what it's for, and then the meaning of the card. And it'll give you a lot of information about Odin as a character in mythology as well. So it's quite a bit of information in this. There are no right or wrong ways to read this deck. The author kind of says that there are no layouts or anything like that. And this isn't a typical tarot deck. This is more like an oracle, but a really chunky oracle because there's 81 cards. So yeah, let's have a look at the cards and see what we've got, guys. So this is what the deck itself looks like. It's got this really nice black and white kind of tone to it. The cards themselves, they are very, very flexible, guys. Just to show you how thin they are there, can you see? So very thin, very flexible. They're going to be super easy to shuffle, but also you'd have to be quite careful with them because I do think they would be easy to bend if you're not careful, like bend over and create creases in. So just be mindful of that. So this is thin cardstock. They are on the glossy side, as you can see. And there is no colour on these. They are just purely black and white. There is no gilding on the edges. They are all just white. Let's have a look. And just to show you as well, that's my hand. So obviously these are quite big cards, which is typical for more of an oracle deck. So I'd say first card is Odin. And then you can see the little symbol there. So these are all in the book. So it tells you what realm that this card comes from and what it's referring to. And then you obviously get your little keywords at the bottom. So this one is Omniscient, Wisdom, Poetry and Language. And as I say, I won't read you necessarily all the names of the cards because some of them are going to be very hard to pronounce. Um, but I will do my best. And where I don't say them, it's because I don't want to look like an idiot, guys. <laughs> so we have Thrig. Foresight, wisdom, and intuition. Freya, love, fertility, sexuality. It's quite a lovely card, that. Sif, earth, fertility, and family. 
Boulder, forgiveness, mildness, kindness. Jord, economy and revenue. Briggy, poetry, language, expression. Nana, steadfast and loyalty. I'm not going to pronounce that one. <laughs> Treasure, beauty, design. Thor, strength, fertility and protection. I think it's interesting that they shows fertility to represent Thor. I might have gone for leadership maybe or warrior. Tear, conflict, counsel and justice. I saw this one come up online, the artwork, and that kind of made me think of... Um, Conan the Barbarian, the way that was drawn. Hospitality, Abundance and Currents. Getting very Poseidon vibes there with the Trident. Ran, Intuition, Subconscious and Currents. Timir, Creativity, Novelty, Artistic Struggle. Mimir, Omniscient, Advisor, Council. Scrimere, Deception, Undermining of Confidence. Aging, Maturing, Healing. Skirnir, I think that says. Messenger, Diplomat. I am not going to pronounce this one, guys. Decision, performance, impact. Then we've got a card that represents the future. Third, present. Frey, spring, new beginnings. Althron, feminine intelligence. Or feminine intellect, rather. <laughs> Soul, ambition and drive. That's beautiful, isn't it? Valley, reconciliation. Good, artfulness. Now I get a sexual vibe from that, to be honest. I think that should have been maybe allure or seduction. Fuller. Keeper of Secrets. Do you know what I'm liking about these cards, guys? Is that all different shapes and body styles. Can you see that? She's completely different to this one here. So there are different ages, shapes in it. I don't know obviously about skin tone because they've gone with a black and white colour on these cards. So I have no idea if they're supposed to be white or if there are any that are supposed to be perceived as darker skin tones. But certainly I can see here there's different ages and different body shapes. Temperance. Peace and counsel. Darkness and fog. That's a nice one. Balance and contraries. Balance of contraries, rather. <laughs> so, like, contradictions. Judgment and final decision. Healing and medicine. Skady. Ambition, the hunt. That's nice. I like that she's riding a polar bear. Reflection. Mindfulness, lightness, impermanence. Interesting. Gateway opportunity and warning. I really like that one with all the different symbols around the archway. That's very cool. Ask, first human man. Oh, looks like we have the first human woman and it looks like the artwork on those matches. Can you see that, guys? That's cool. Then we have claiming new ground, fairness and judgment, loyalty, clarity and novelty, reassurance and protection, 
ambition and collaboration. The known unknown. Ooh, that's an interesting message, isn't it? The known unknown. Conflict behind the mask. Suspense behind the mask. Unresolved emotions. Transformation. Bravery, lifting the nightmare. Opportunity. That one's a nice one as well. Ooh, I like that one. Messenger of the gods. Rule of three, informed decision. They kind of remind me of the fates or the norms. The doorkeeper. Navigation. The past. Ambition and competitiveness. I like that one as well. Magical youth, rejuvenation. Wisdom. Ha, huh, Gandalf. <laughs> Master craftsmanship and diligence. Beauty and vanity. Interesting how they chose a man for that. I really like his cloak though. <laughs> diligence and resourcefulness. Guarding the treasure. Lord of Misfits. Fiery Wrath. Ooh, I like that one as well. Nightmare. Spirit of Fire. Ooh, Loki. The Cunning God of Many Faces. I'm surprised they didn't say the Cunning Trickster. Maybe that was too obvious though, I don't know. The Crafty Mead of Poetry. The Ship of Conflict. I like that one. Spirit of Lightning. Berserker, the Warrior. Ooh, I think this is my favourite card, guys. Hell, Ruler of Fears. That's cool. I like a staff with the skulls on it. Suckishness and procrastination. Tardiness and lethargy. Disorder. The guardian of, oh God, can I say that? Guardian of Galabrun. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Apologies if I'm not. The crossing between life and death. Perpetual desire. Ooh, that's a cool one as well. The brave traveler. And last card, recon Reconciliation of Opposites. Wow. So that's the full deck, guys. So really super interesting, really cool kind of titles and things. I'm sorry I couldn't pronounce them all, but I, um, I don't speak Norse. <laughs> <laughs> Although uh, once I've read the book, maybe I'll be able to pronounce some of them better. Who knows? Um, interesting deck. I don't know how I would work with this and how I would use it personally. I'm certainly going to try it as an oracle for a while and see if I bond with it, if it gels with me. Because um, it's a really interesting deck. I really like how many different meanings there were. And there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of balance in this deck with the negative meanings as well as the positives. So very, very interesting. So yeah, so that is this deck. Um, I can't really say for sure whether it's my cup of tea. But I will say I like what I see. The artwork is interesting. The cardstock could be a, a little bit better. It's a nice size. I don't mind that it's black and white, but I think I would have preferred it colour. The guidebook is absolutely fantastic, really good quality, nice hardback book. I'm certainly going to give that a read before I judge the deck 100%. But so far, based on what I've seen and the cards and the quality, I would probably score this about a 7 out of 10 at the moment, guys.
so yeah that's my review i hope you liked what you saw if you did please give me a thumbs up click the bell so youtube t will tell you when my next video comes out if you'd like to offer like love and support to my channel you can do that through patreon or my amazon wish list if you'd like to book my services or book me for a reading all of the links are provided in the description of the video guys so thank you very much for watching as always take care of yourselves and i'll see you soon blessed be